Hey guys, Freezing Inferno here, and you're watching Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 2. Today we're gonna take on Volt Catfish. And Volt Catfish is nowhere near as difficult as he is in X3. In fact, I'd say Volt Catfish is the easiest boss in this game with his weakness. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let, let's just play his stage, shall we? Volt Catfish. Now his stage music in this game, I actually like it more than the X3 version. The X3 version is more butt rock. And this is just more 8-bit, which I like because I'm a gigantic retro nerd. So yeah. Also his stage, again, is like vastly different and not at all like his stage in X3, which is sort of a trend with the X3 bosses in this game. None of their stages resemble their stages in the Super Nintendo X3 which is bizarre as hell. But this next part throws me for a loop on that because this part is actually an exact 8-bit scaled-down replica of a section of Toxic Seahorse's stage. The vertical climb of the sewage, except this is water instead of sewage, but it's the same basic little vertical shaft. Now if they could put this in here, why not just either put Toxic Seahorse in or actually just put Volt Catfish's level in if they if they're able to replicate X3 stages in 8-bit perfectly like this. It, it, it just it screams of strange design decision to me is all really really bizarre because I'm a gigantic Mega Man nerd and I notice things like this. It's my job to tell you people about this stuff. Anyway up here there would be a heart tank in X3 but instead of that we've got a capsule Inside we've got a nice wonderful little leg upgrade that lets us air dash and up dash. Oh boy, I love me some air dashing. Don't you love yourself some air dashing? It's all like air dashing around. Oh no, I'm going air dash. I got my football, my six feet. Oh wow. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. We'll go back to the actual like normal voice madness. Don't want to get too silly on you today. This part's kind of strange. You see stuff's running, but instead of fire, we've got water. But this isn't death water, it just pushes you back. So it does. It's kind of annoying, too, with the uh, mat tours here. Ah, or mat tools, or mats, or whatever the hell you want to call them. Little hard hat buggers. You know who they are. They're iconic to Mega Man. Iconic, I tell you! We're not at the boss yet, no. This is just sort of. I don't know why this stage has so many doors in it. It has a few. Now! This is Death Water. I don't know if you can see, but it's flashing yellow, too. I guess it's electrified. You gotta use your imagination for 8-bit stuff, but hey, I'm a Nintendo nerd. I know my shit. Oh yeah. More doors, and over here, we can plainly see a heart tank, but this one is a lot like the one in Flamestag stage in Extreme 1. Electric Water. You're probably going to sacrifice a life getting this thing unless you're lucky. So just move! Move, move your ass, move your ass. Get that heart tank and get back before the stuff goes up. Whoa! That was close! I didn't expect to make that, but I totally made it anyway. Anyway, we're pretty much done. The I don't know why they stick this auto saver here because you just go to this waterfall, there are no enemies, and already you're at the boss. It, it just is weird. And Ray Claw's Volt Catfish's weakness. Now, are you guys ready for the easiest boss probably in Mega Man history? Fucking Volt Catfish with his weakness. He jumps over you, use Ray Claw, stun him, charge it up again, hit him, and jump. Charge up again, hit him. Just keep doing this. Just keep doing this. I mean, I guess Law and Healthy does this electric attack thing, but that's it. Volt Catfish is dead in what, like 30 seconds? It's easy as fuck! Easy as bullfuck! Ridiculous! Anyway, we get a Triad Thunder, which is not at all like Triad Thunder in X3. From what I've read, it's more like Squid Adler's Tri Thunder in Mega Man X5. Yeah, I just cut out the fucking cutscene with uh, Burkana and Gareth because fuck that shit. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Mega Man Extreme 2, we take on Launch Octopus. It's gonna be fun. Till then, this is Freezing Inferno. Adios for now. Bye, guys.